If you guys remember, I mentioned this in my other video. And I said that Doria, when Megan got married with Prince Harry, she had to quit her job. Quote unquote, I was let go. What happened this time is something more shocking than what Doria did. And I will mention to you what happened this time in a second. But I want to tell you this. Most of our viewers are not subscribed. If you are one of them, consider to subscribe because we talk about Meghan Harry, the British monarchy. Doria was forced and I said this, Meghan was primarily responsible. And I said that, look, Meghan Markle is not somebody who will marry a prince because of his title only. She would marry that person also because she thought this guy, Prince Harry, was a millionaire in the sense that she would never have to hustle. She would never have to struggle the way she is doing right now. As you can see, she is doing a lot of shows, a lot of docu-series, a lot of books are being written. Nothing is panning out for her. This is not what she aimed for when she got married with Prince Harry. And I said this, that Harry, he did inherit a lot of money. I think about $9 million from late mother, Princess Diana. But that money wasn't enough for Meghan Markle. This is not why she married Harry. $9 million? Come on. For Meghan? <laughs> oh my God. She spent $1 million just for one trip to South Africa or some countries in Africa. And I reported on this too. Do you think she would be happy with $9 million? Like, no, man. She needs hundreds, if not billions of dollars. And actually, she does need that because she wants to continue her lifestyle. She forced Doria Raglan, her mother, ask Harry for money. Again, as I said, I made a video on this. Doria, she in return responded and she said, voila, I quit my job. I don't have any income because my daughter now is married to you, Harry. Harry, you go and ask your father. You manage all the money. A lot of people have said, no, 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 that is not the case. Doria is self-sufficient. She has a job and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? For you, I have an answer. Doria is not a millionaire. And who doesn't want to be a millionaire? Especially if the daughter is married to a prince. That was one of kind of a story. And that was very, very shocking already. But what happened this time is that, okay, let me tell you if the, okay, set, let me set the tone for you. In the, in the Oprah Winfrey interview, when Harry was talking about finance and all that, he said in a very whining tone that he was cut off financially by his father, end quote. Quote, end quote, I was literally cut off. Even though we then found out that, you know what, the uh, treasury, uh, uh, clearance house, Buckingham Palace, they, uh, they denied all of these allegations by Harry and they said, no, he was mixing up with a date. But the point here is that on that day, he did manage to accuse his father of throwing him under the bus. That's the point. And he did that. Now, in retro ret retrospective, when we take a look at why he said that, you know, we find the answer in this video. And this is what I want to share with you. So let's take a look at this one first, and then I can actually let you know more in details. Uh, so basically, as you can see on the screen, King Charles, okay, told Queen, I'm not a bank, quote unquote, I'm not a bank over Prince Harry's cash request. And I would say it was not a request, it was a demand that, hey, I need money. You want to give me the money. This is how toddler acts and this is how Harry acts. King Charles had allegedly stopped taking Prince Harry's calls as Megxit drew closer. Of course, he should have done that. I mean, he should never have taken his call. The monarch was fed up by his youngest son asking money during every interaction. At the time, Queen Elizabeth intervened to sort out the tensions when, ha when Her Majesty uh, inquired Charles was not taking phone calls from Harry. So the queen reached out to Harry and she asked, what is the reason? You do not talk to your father for money. You should ask him. You should not be asking me. And Harry said, well, he's not taking my call. And so the queen talked to Prince uh, Charles at that time. And he said, you know what? I'm not a bank, quote unquote. So the queen was caught in the middle, you know, between this father and son's brawl. Uh, the late queen was always happy to speak with Harry, but when he asked for money, she said, quote, why don't you speak to your father, end quote. 
Harry told her she uh, that uh, he, her his uh, father was not taking his call. Quote, Charles insisted that his son must email him instead. Members of the family, including William, had stopped speaking to Harry when they learned of his book deal, fearing that they said uh, what they said could end up in print. Quote, Harry is not as well off as people are led to believe. Yeah, again, as I said, Harry was never well off. I do not know what he did with $9 million. Was he even paid by his father, that inheritance? I do not know. If he did pay him, I think he's all gone now. Because Harry doesn't know how to manage money. You know? and, and on top of all of this, to make things work, he met Meghan. <laughs> he was wanting money when the Queen asked Charles what he was doing about it because she was uh, fielding so many calls. He told her, I'm not a bank. So basically means that the same Queen that Harry threw under the bus over and over again did not go to see her except that his conditions will be met which is bringing his wife with him and and king charles refused that he is still managed to contact with the queen looks like he was in constant contact with the queen asking her for money over and over again because he knew that uh, the queen is soft and he can easily uh, leverage her softness uh, you know manip uh, manipulate i should say uh, manipulate uh, her softness and get what he wants but voila the the, the king uh, king charles he was much tougher he said no means no i'm not a bank i'm not going to give you any uh, penny i'm not going to help you out with anything and i think after even after all of this that he said i'm not a bank and this is very very shocking as i said i think he still managed to help harry and he's still today he wants to help harry because we know, and I talked about this before, he actually called Harry just a few days ago and he wanted to talk to Archie. But Harry said, no, I'm not going to let you talk to my son. Can you believe this? This is what Harry said to King Charles, the grandfather. But King Charles, as I said, he was always striking a middle path. He was not too extreme, not too soft. But Harry always wanted his way and he found Meghan to help him doing or continuing this bad bad behavior and this is why you see harry is now sticking with megan so badly and she uh, he's holding her as if like his whole life depends on her simply because he messed up so much that now the only way really forward for harry is megan if megan leaves him or if the marriage doesn't work out which is most likely going to be the case harry will be the most miserable and it will be very interesting to see where the relationship goes between the grandfather and the grandchildren, which is Archie and uh, King Charles. Because Harry, once he got, got <laughs> divorced uh, from Meghan, which will happen most likely again, I think then he would find it very, very hard to connect the uh, previous generation with the next one, which is the grandfather and the grandchildren. Uh, bond. I don't think Harry can manage that. He's just going to freak out. He's going to lose it all. And then all the blame will be on him one more time. Guys, if you're new here, consider to subscribe. See you in the next video.